the surgical mask, a popular home remedy against airborne threats. Until a few months ago, smog and car fumes were the greatest concerns to urban dwellers, such as those in Vietnam. But now the coronavirus has taken over as the biggest worry for many, as air pollution has dissipated. The virus has emptied the streets of China's megacities, and manufacturing has slowed. Drastic quarantine measures implemented by Chinese authorities have resulted in significantly cleaner air, as this graphic from the World Meteorological Organization shows. China is now emitting 25% less greenhouse gas, a small victory against global warming. We've seen with the drastic measures that China has taken with regard to corona that emissions have gone down seriously. So people are working from home, manufacturing has slowed down. So these are the kinds of drastic measures that we will have to take for climate change and it's better to do it kind of sooner rather than later because it'll be more painful the longer we wait. Scientists have long been sounding the alarm on climate change. 2019 was the second hottest year on record with the past decade the hottest in human history. Greenhouse gases concentrations are at the highest level in three million years. But while countries have been slow to act in the face of global warming, many have now implemented drastic measures to slow the spread of the coronavirus. The climate crisis is somehow much more abstract than the virus. And that's why I can't say how many people will die because of climate change. But the virus, you can calculate it. That's why it's a bit closer. Well, hey, if humanity dies off from the coronavirus, what does the climate matter? I hope that we have a vaccination against the virus in a year and a half. But the climate crisis is the most important task of the millennium, I think without exaggeration. Many people in China have already recovered. When the coronavirus crisis passes, experts say manufacturing will catch up on what it had not been able to produce. That means the corona effect on the climate is probably just temporary.